I'm here with Cindy Fontatos, my friend, who, if you want to be friends with me, you really have to have permanent makeup, yes. even though Cindy was very reluctant to, to wanting to, she wasn't really wanting permanent makeup when she met me. I was very reluctant. I had no idea what I was getting into, and it turned out to be the best decision I think I've ever made. Um, I'm extremely low maintenance when it comes to makeup, and this, the main thing I noticed, um, well, actually, I can't, I had my eyebrows, my eyeliner, and my lips done, and I didn't want any of them done, and now I, I can't tell you how many times I've been asked what I did differently, um, you know, by people right after I had it done, and it's so it's so subtle. And the eyeliner, especially, I was really worried about because I thought that you were going to see a line above, but because it's done so precise between the lashes, it made such a huge difference. And my lips made yeah. them look well, larger. Well, you've got movie star lips. I mean, well, let's I do face now. It, you got great I do lips. Now. It, all of your features look great, but you know what it does. For anybody, not only you, it takes the tired out of your face. Absolutely, that's the main thing, especially around the eyes. It takes the, the washed eyes. away. People look washed out without some kind of makeup on, sure. and this just bridges that gap. Yeah, it does. And especially with your travel schedule. Right. And the eyebrows, it's so, it took the maintenance out, and uh, it's, it is, it's, it's absolutely the best thing I've ever done. Now, if we could just do something for our gray hair. Exactly. <laughs> Are you looking at my gray hair right no. now? No. 